Hello everybody and welcome back to episode 5 of Star Sector Waifus V2. That is the Usurper playthrough. And we are here, we've just been paid, we're here at Vermilion Station uh, because I picked up a little cargo in between episodes that is, you guessed it, premium choco lava packages. <laughs> if you do like this video please hit that like button consider subscribing and don't forget to caress that notification bell and check me out on twitch the link is in the description below oh my goodness lots of fleets flying off somewhere is there a is, is, wait, is, wait is there a threat is there a threat what's going on what's going on huge battle or something big fight no? What? All the fleet, all the, all the defense fleets flew out to this point. Why? Huh. I don't know. I don't know. Weird. Weird. Very weird. <laughs> uh, anyway. Anyway. Let's uh, slide into the million station here. Let's open comms with the lovely near Aurora. We'll start a spark a conversation. Uh, I'm gonna compliment her. Ah, she thinks we're quite lovely. You hear that, guys? Nia Aurora thinks that we're quite lovely. Ah. Uh, let uh, let us um offer a snack package. Oh wow, you really get so many choco lava. She seems to be taken by surprise, seeing you bringing a punch of choco lava to her before smiling happily. Right, I'll share these around with my staff. Thank you for your donation. They will surely love this. Hey, you're welcome. You're welcome. Um, I have too many paperworks. Ah, yes. A cup of dark roasted coffee is my only solace. You know what? I'm right there with you, Nia. I've got a coffee in my hands as we speak. <laughs> um, okay, so there we go. We've started work on our relationship with Nia. Um, I want to get that up because obviously like, we're based kind of out of the Shiana system at the moment. So being able to get access to, to Inari and also to... Uh, I can't remember who the other one is. Whoops. Apologies. Anyway, we've got 300 more premium chocolate lava cakes. We'll be able to drop those off. Um, uh, another time. Another time. Uh, but for now, we're going to fly over to New Aurora. Because we have just shy. Uh, there's an asteroid impact drink. I know a few of you are uh, taking part in the uh, the Timo asteroid drinking game at the moment. So, uh, <laughs> good luck. Uh, let's pop over to New Aurora and see what they have in the ship market oh and before we do anything else i do want to say that i'm actually going to be adjusting the name of the waifus uwu um based on all the comments that i've been seeing uh recently uh about the uwu and how it performed in uh it's sort of like it's big big battle in in, in episode three um we're actually going to be renaming renaming it to the uwu Oops. Uwu six. Um, because I want to keep I want to keep Uwu in the name, and a lot of people were suggesting like keep keep carrying on calling it six after like that battle, or like continuing to or, or like changing it to like Noble Six or, or something like that. And I thought, well, Uwu six is like the UAF version of Noble Six. <laughs> so the uh, yeah the 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 Seni Raja is. Um, is now known as Uwu Six, uh, which I think is 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 very fitting. Is definitely very very fitting. Um, but otherwise, otherwise, ah, oh, the Lalaru, such a such a gorgeous vessel. Let's see what is available on the market. Uh, there's another Lilaru SP. There's another Lalu Amazia. I don't think I've ever seen this. Is this a is this a new ship? Or have I just been blind to it? Um, prior to the introduction of energy-infused weaponry into the UAF, a testing platform were needed to test the experimental weapons safely without jeopardizing the safety of crew and ship, as Auroran ships are not well-fitted enough to accommodate the experiment. 
and miseries the result of such need. It doesn't abide to any known or roaring doctrine as it poses virtually little to no armor in their navy standard, but is compensated by its reinforced hull, which made it much more resilient and durable. Due to the lack of armor, the weight to ratio weight to power ratio is far greater and allows it to enjoy an increased top speed and acceleration rate despite its heavy cruiser classification and size. However, its unorthodox design made it unpopular amongst the already well-established Navy officers. It was initially left to be forgotten in a dockyard until a command Nuko android forwarded a message that showed great interest in the ship by the Automata High Command. Since then, it finally entered service as a secondary heavy cruiser alongside the venerable Lilaru SP, the Automata Forces, and first produced in small number. Although it lacks firepower compared to its counterpart, it proves to be an excellent ship to flanking maneuvers and conduct deep strikes without needing assistance. This ship has been retrofitted and heavily modified to meet the specifications required by the Aurora and Automata Expeditionary Division. Hmm. The Mysia. So what does the Mysia have? Whoopsie. Daisy accidentally hitting escape, Tim, please. Let's not do that. Uh, so what? Mysia has Syncor Energy Focus. Synchronizes and harmonizes the onboard weapon and power systems, temporarily increasing weapon range and reducing flux costs for a short time. Interesting. Has a top speed of 95 plus 5, so 100. That's actually lower than I thought it would be based on how it was like talking about speed. It has two Precisio 304s built in. It has a medium energy, two small universal, two, three small hybrid, and six small energy. And then it has the, the Mysia Melody Syncor and the Aurora and Aegis package. It costs 30 deployment points versus, wait, how much does the Lalaru cost? 30 as well. Okay. Sure, let's do it. We might as well we might as well get one to test it out and fly it, right? At the end of the day, like we might as well at least get one. Uh so let's go ahead and refit. It feels I don't think feel like my game's feeling a little bit um laggy. The game is feeling a little bit laggy. I might need to hit a restart, which is weird because I literally only booted up the game to start like this episode, so it's only like ten minutes ago. The New Aurora doesn't really have any of the weapons that we want built into it. Or not built into it but available uh that's kind of annoying it's kind of annoying uh we can go and check oh yeah my fps is right down my fps is right down okay i'll uh, i'll reboot the game okay we are back and we have fps again so let's go ahead and check luna moon to see whether they have anything uh, ah, they do indeed. This is what I was looking for. The Edge Type 2. The Edge Type 2 was exactly what I was looking for here. Uh, it is a disruptive cannon. Um, it's got 600 range. Um, it's very, very effective as an energy weapon. Um, very, very effective. Uh, and then up front, up front, we're going to want some... So the Edge Type 2 is 100%, 100%, 100%. So are the Precisias. So this small hybrid up front, I think we'll go with the the anti-shield uh, railgun. We're going to slap our vents up real quick, actually, just to make sure that we've got those points spent um, for our flux dissipation. Uh, it seems like I just end up like maxing vents with every single ship now. Uh, it really does feel like that. Uh, okay, then in terms of missiles we could go with some exoscars i do like the exoscars um yeah in fact i think we are going to run with exoscars I, I i am a big i'm a big fan of the exoscars actually i'm a big fan of the exoscars we're gonna we've got a bunch of small energy turrets that we're gonna need to go to another station to fit with uh because there's nothing here that is uh that is my my jam Nothing here that is my jam. Uh, we're going to run flare launchers on the back here. We're going to run flare launchers on the back. And then, yeah, we're going to need to go find somewhere to fill those smalls in. Maybe, maybe honestly, New Aurora. I didn't actually check the smalls, did I, here? Uh, let's see. What have you got? 
Nope, you guys have just got IR pulse lasers. Fine. Um, we will head back over to Stiana system uh, and to Hemfire and hopefully find something there. I'll see you there. <laughs> I mean, I guess we're putting some blaze guns on our ship. The anti-armor energy. I almost feel like better like we can run two up the front there and then just leave that I, honestly actually no i think maybe we just run it like this maybe we just leave the energies empty i think maybe we just leave the energies empty we have so many op still we have so many op <laughs> like flux distributor um in this case i think i want to so this thing so, Moonlight Lady Hill's going to hate me here because Moonlight Lady Hill commented about the dedicated targeting core and unstable injector being used together being bad, right? Because unstable injector reduces weapon range and dedicated targeting core increases weapon range. But personally, I feel like running them both in con together means that the ship gets increased top speed and it doesn't suffer any rage penalties. Uh, so, it's like beneficial in both pers perspectives, especially when I have this much OP to burn, right? Um... So, Moonlight Lady Hilde, I'm sorry, but I, I do genuinely believe that it's the right decision to make. <laughs> I do genuinely believe. I mean, we could, we could, to be fair, we could, we could go with safety overrides. Uh, we could go with, 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 with safety overrides. <laughs> we could. Um, do we go with safety overrides? Damn, do we? I mean, it, <laughs> look at the flux dissipation now. Look at the flux. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's let's run safety overrides. Well, why not? Why not? Why not? Why not? Um, okay, we definitely don't need the flux distributor then. Um, and we might as well at this point chuck the blaze guns back in because we have so much flux. Uh, what? Oh, we don't have enough OP. Okay. Um, we have such an incredible amount of flux at this point. Hardened subsystems is a must when um, when running safety overrides, in my opinion, because safety overrides reduces the peak performance by a time by a factor of three. Um, whereas hardened subsystems increases peak operating time for ships that suffer degraded performance to an extended point by fifty percent. Um, and so, like the 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 mix here. Uh, just it just lessens the the peak the peak impact of safety overrides in my and uh, again this is probably going to be something where Moonlight Lady Hill just like absolutely raises at me in the comments for um, I love you Moonlight Lady Hill but um don't it don't it <laughs> I'm doing it I think we can drop the reinforced bulkheads this might be the this might not be the smart fit but we'll see we'll see. We will see. Um, we will see. We'll go ahead and set everything to water fire except for the exoscars. And then the name for the Mysia. The name for the Mysia is going to be... I'm pulling up my list here. I'm looking through the list now. And I think... Mm, there's a lot of options here. There's a lot of options here, actually. I think this thing is a, um, mm. oh, this is a tough one, actually. This is, oh, actually, no, I've got it. I've got it. This one was suggested by NST Harlequin, and it is Death Blossom. The waifu's Death Blossom. There she is. Stunning. Now, if we go to our fleet, we're going to slide her in right there. Um, and we're going to give her an aggressive pilot. We're going to give her an aggressive pilot. Nolan Black. Oh, we got some level ups. <laughs> we got some level ups to do as well. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Target analysis is always a great pickup. Um, target analysis is always a great pickup. Oh, and field modulation as well. Missile specialism is nice. Uh, yeah, we'll run missile specialism. And then Sunday, uh, at some point in time, we'll make sure that we put Sunday on a missile boat. We'll make sure that we put Sunday on a missile boat when we get the option. Uh, combat endurance. Love me some combat endurance. 
Ray Brock, what have you got? Combat Endurance, Field Modulation, Ballistic Mastery, I'm kind of leaning towards. Uh, but also, Helmsmanship is huge. But I'm going to go with Ballistic Mastery here. Uh, and Gunnery Implants, for sure. Nolan Black, um, you are definitely taking Gunnery Implants. Uh, you're also, you're in the, you're in the Maesia, so we're going to give you Energy Weapon Mastery. Uh, because you're in the Maesia. And so you're going to be a Maesia pilot now. Because you're running, um, you're running Gunnery Implants and Energy Weapon Mastery. Uh, in fact, um, yeah, no, that's fine. That's fine. Um, and then Summer Campbell. We're going to give you gunnery implants. Sorted. Beautiful. Sorted pistachios. Oh, and Summer needs to be mentored as well. I'm going to keep you aggressive, Summer. I'm going to keep you aggressive. Lovely. Stunning. Okay. Well, that is the first part of the episode done. Um, took a little while. Took a little while. But uh, we now have uh, a new heavy cruiser. And it's time, actually, to pop back into Hemfire and say Hello to leona you have any work for me leona what's on the bounty target a more challenging target 41 light years away uh we could definitely take this on uh but let's just see whether if there's anything like really close by 38 or uh 50 oh, okay no we're gonna go we're gonna go for the more challenging target yes we are we're gonna accept and then we are going to do we have any gates that way yet no, the only gates we've got... Th well, Thul is still technically that way, I think. Because if we look at our... If we look at our bounty... Like, if we just gate up to Thul and then go, we are, like, cutting our journey in half, essentially. We are cutting our journey in half. So, we will... Uh, we will head to Favonius and gate up. I'll see you there. And here we are at the Delta Kefius system. Up here. And that is probably our target right there. There we go. Okay, what have we got here? Uh, so we've got an Eradicator. That's the only real scary thing here for the most part. Um, if we kill the Eradicator, we basically win. Plus 1% difficulty, huh? Plus 1%. Mm. Okay, let's go. Tiger Lily up to Alpha, please. Uh, Mishandra up to Gamma. Uh, Spyrohawk take Delta. And then... defend up in the center this was an idea from a commenter to like to put a to put a defend marker up here um for the start of the battle uh and i thought that was actually like a really good idea so i'm giving it a go i'm giving it a go wow the uh, the Mysia really does push forwards quickly it's also a lot bigger than i thought it was going to be this is the this is the lalaru the the Mysia is actually pretty chunky um i didn't realize Maybe I should be flying the Mysia. <laughs> Maybe I should be flying the Mysia. Oh, it's dead already. It's dead already. All right, let's go. Missed the typhoon there. Missed the typhoon there, but that's okay. That's okay. We've got this. Six is taking him out. Six is eliminating him. Six is eliminating him. There goes the MLRSs. There goes the MLR MLRSs. Most of them miss, admittedly. It's not too bad. It's not too bad. Lovely. Kind of just wanting them to split off a little bit so that I can dive. Ah, uh, because obviously this ship has the face skimmer ability. And I really like using it, but also face skimming into anything that isn't just 
like uh, like a horde of enemies, right? You know, I don't want to I don't want to jump in on a like. Oh, I can jump in on on. Uh, that might have been a bad idea. That might have been a bad idea. But I think we're okay. I think we're okay. The Nakia has been disabled. You okay, Nakia? have a look at how things are going so at this point i think we get rid of the defend order we'll say get rid of these orders and let's see let's see okay okay i think Uh, we take these three vessels. We tell you to destroy the Olkzan. Uh, we take these three vessels. And we tell you to focus on the Eradicator. Yeah, oh my goodness. <laughs> the Mysia. The Mysia. Oh, the Mysia. <laughs> the miser just went in <laughs> the miser went in so hard wait okay hold on uh miser death blossom uh, I think Death Blossom is actually even more better of a name. I just want to... I'm, I'm going to order it to go for this mule, and then we're just going to watch it do its thing. Look, ready? Look, look, there it goes. There it goes. <laughs> it just goes in. It just goes in. <laughs> I love it. I love the aggression. I love the aggression. Okay, let's go ahead and support the Akatsuzumu here. Beautiful. Beautiful. Stunning. So, I think, unless I missed it, uh, the only thing we lost was the Tiger Lily, right? The only thing we lost was the Tiger Lily Nakiha think unless i missed it in the feed oh which is entirely possible come on down you go oh the miser just bumping me the miser where <laughs> the miser just pit maneuvered me <laughs> or the miser tried to pit maneuver me in space. Yeah, it's getting away. Okay. <laughs> the miser just slides in, like, nope. <laughs> nope. Okay, fantastic. Ah, yeah, so the only thing we lost was the Tiger Lily. Okay, that's fine. That's absolutely fine. We are going to pursue here. Second in command. Uh, just take all of the smaller ships. And the Astari, because the Astari is so aggressive. And consider ship recovery. We'll pick up the Tiger Lily. We'll pick through the wreckage. We'll take... Oh, everything. It's a decent chunk of stuff. A decent chunk of stuff. We'll go ahead and double dip, of course. Begin salvage operations. Take it all. Lovely. Good night, sweet prince. That's 170,000 credits. Boom. There's an equipment cache right there. There's an equipment cache right there. Hello. We'll send the intel to Spindle. We like Spindle. Ooh, a Doom class phase cruiser and a Diablo avionic ship blueprint package. We'll learn both of those. We will learn both of those. 
The doom, the doom was like possibly the scariest ship that the all carrier waifu's fleet ever went up against. In all of the time that we did the 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 waifu's carriers only let's play, uh the the doom was like just terrifying. The doom was just absolutely terrifying. Um, God, I wish I knew there was a I wish there was a gate up here or something, you know. Um, a mesh class armored tanker. Huh. All right. Um, I'd like you know I'd love to be able to just jump in and be like discovered gate. Uh, there's a domain era probe though. So we will go ahead and salvage that. Most definitely. Double dip. And uh, maybe we will just have a quick scan of this system. Maybe there's more domain stuff here. Maybe there's more domain stuff here. No? Yes? Yes? No? No? No. 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 Okay, fine. Got to try it though, right? You got to try it because if you don't try, well then you know, bad times, bad times, bad times. If you don't try, let's just jump into this one as well. You never know, there might be a gate in here, and then my life just becomes super easy. There's not a gate, but there is a probe. Uh, and automated defenses. Okay, sure. Uh, we will just go. You know what? J just, 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 just me and the miser, honestly. Just me and the Miser, yeah, let's go. Death Blossom. Death Blossom. And the Zathku. Uh, Miser? Miser? Please? Oh, aggro. Mysia, please. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Mysia was just sitting back like, hey, I yeah, know you got it. You got it. Don't worry. We believe you got it. It's like, I don't got it. I do not got it. <laughs> Oh, I like the Mysia. I might switch out, honestly. I might switch out <laughs> and take the Mysia myself. But, but Nolan does have the energy weapon, like, skills. So he might actually be better off in it than I would be. Nolan Black ready to level up. Huge. Huge. Um. Oh, we need to, we've got to level up as well. We've got a level up as well. Um, yeah, we're gonna run. Uh, we're gonna run coordinated maneuvers. Coordinated maneuvers. Ah, uh, but there was no gate here. Though there was a probe, so we will just do a little bit of flying around just in case, you know. Um, whenever I find a bit of domain tech in a system, I always make sure that I do a bit of a fly around. Um, just in case there's more domain tech, you know, just in case there's more domain tech, because you never know, you never know. And uh, I'd hate to, I hate to be in a system with tech to explore and and uh, and miss it just because, uh, you know, I wanted to to move on, but it would appear there is there is nothing, okay, or nothing, nothing that isn't like hidden, 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 hidden. Oh, that's a rough split. Hello? <laughs> just can't, <laughs> just can't jump out straight into the middle of a random slipstream. Okay. Uh, we're going to try this one more system down here. Maybe there's a gate here. I highly doubt it. Um, there is not a gate here. Okay. Um, we'll, we, we'll, we'll just do a quick fly around anyway. We've got 300 supplies. We're doing okay. Um, we're doing okay on supplies, so we'll just do a quick fly around. Never know what you might find. You never know what you might find. 
could be something fantastic. Could be nothing. Most likely is nothing. That's a desert world, actually. We should... Ah, uh, it's habitable, so we should definitely uh, chuck a survey in. You never know. Sparse ore. Poor farmland. Mm, no, okay. I'm good. Doesn't matter if it's habitable or not. That's kind of <laughs> that's, just, that's just bad. That's just bad. Um, and we'll just fly over to this barren deserted. Barren desert. It was barren desert. Um, these rings are very pretty. Very, very pretty. Yeah, we'll just fly over here. We'll double check this planet. And then there's also a jump point here that we can leave with as well. Uh, anything? Anything? Nope. Nothing. Okay. Fine. Not my lucky day. Not my lucky day. Nope, no, 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 no. Uh, haven't run into... <laughs> Actually, I shouldn't. I shouldn't say it. I shouldn't say it because I'll jinx it. But I'm going to say it. I was just going to say, we haven't run into any LUDs yet. <laughs> this episode. <laughs> but, uh... Sod's Law, or uh, Murphy's Law, if you're American. Um, We probably will now. We probably will now. I don't think the Zahn system has a gate, does it? I'm pretty sure the 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 Khan. I think it's Khan. I'm pretty sure it's Khan. Um, I just double check real quick. I'm 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 almost certain it doesn't have a gate. Yeah, it doesn't have a gate. Yeah. I was almost certain, and now I am certain. Let's just slide on through. And we're back in Hemphire. Finally. Took a little while. Let's go ahead and unload all of these. Like a so. For a cheeky little payday. We're up at 500,000 credits once again. Uh, maybe it's time for another new ship. <laughs> It feels like we go out, we come back, we buy a new ship. We go out, we come back, we buy a new ship. Which I really don't mind. I really don't mind. Um, perhaps maybe it's time to wait for a... Uh, we could pick up a Rolaru here, actually. But it is a standard Rolaru. And I feel like... I feel like I'd prefer to pick up the uh, Rolaru SP, honestly. I would prefer. I think I'd prefer to wait. And pick up the pick up the Rolaru SP. Um, the Seni Raja M is a. I I really like the Seni Raja M, and I really wouldn't mind picking up another Seni Raja M. Uh, in fact, yeah, no, I'm gonna do it because actually the Seni Raja like six has been so great. Six has been so so great. It really has. Um, let's go ahead and pick up a. Let's go ahead and uh, ch chuck another six. I'll uh, I'll refit this and bring you guys back. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, friendos and MBs, I'd like to introduce you to the Waifu's Rose Knight. The reason why it's called the Rose Knight 1 is uh, it was a name suggested by Moonlight Lady Hild, which I think is a lovely name. Two, because Moonlight Lady Hild is probably going to absolutely hate this build. Um, <laughs> I slammed safety overrides onto the Seni Raja 2M. Uh, and then... Proceeded to fill it <laughs> with four Katoon 2E Railgun jewels, two Suarez MLRSs, a Tria 30 Seawiz, a couple of Coil Seawizzes at the front, some light dual machine guns, and a Raccoon APS pod in the back. Uh, <laughs> each of these Railgun jewels is 333 flux a second. The, 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 the Seawiz is 200 up the front here. <laughs> <laughs> it's um yeah this uh, i feel like the 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 kill power of this ship is through the roof um but also like it might not perform as well as i hope it might it might not <laughs> i don't know but uh hilda is probably just gonna absolutely murder me for it so that's why i've called it the rose knight um we're gonna slap her 
right here next to Uwu Six. Next to Uwu Six, and we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna give her a go. We're gonna give her a we're gonna give her a play. We're gonna we're gonna see what is what. So let's go ahead and talk to Leona. Do you have any work for me? What's on the bounty target? More challenging target. Forty light years away. Oof. Oof. I mean, we could definitely take that. But is there anything closer? Thirty-four light years away. Mm. Forty-five light years away. Fine. Apparently, we're going all the way back up to basically where we were before. We were on the last one. We were. Wait, where were we on the last one? I, th I thought it was up here. Was it? Was it up there that we were on the last on the last mission? I think it was. Um, <laughs> and uh, and now now we're just a bit over to the right. We I really wish we had a gate up there. I really wish we had a gate up there. But two hundred and twenty thousand credits is a little too much to just turn down. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and pick up um some fuel. You know what? Actually, let's just top ourselves up off on fuel. That's fine. We'll just grab loads of fuel. Um, and I will also top ourselves up on supplies. Uh, wait, really? We've only got 584, though. We kind of need more than that. Uh, there's another 200. That should do. That should do us. That should do us just fine. Uh, right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to fly over to Vermilion Station. I'm going to go hand near a bunch more Choco Lava Cakes, and then we are going to head... Um, head up, uh, I head back over to Favonius, get you up to Thule, and then fly to the destination, uh, of the bounty. I'll catch you then. Okay, here we are in the Brazimua star system, and, uh, we are hunting for our target. That might be it right there. Hello, friendo. Okay, so they have a venture. They have four colossuses. A clade, a bronco, and a buffalo, and then a bunch of smaller stuff. I well, there is there is a face ship in there. I hate gremlins. I hate gremlins with a passion. We're gonna move into engage. Let's go. We're gonna deploy everything. Um, boom. That's probably slight overkill, honestly. Probably slight overkill, but you know that's fine. Uh, Sparrowhawk, go. Tiger Lily, go. Uh, and then we're gonna try that defense point thing again. Uh, and I just need to remember to get rid of it. Um, after, you know, a certain while. Um, otherwise, it ends up causing, a, like, a bit of a clump-up issue. So, let's do that. Let's make sure that we are flying. We got the, uh, the our new rail gun. Oh, I didn't, put a ca I didn't put an officer in her. I don't know if we have any officers to spare, though, at the moment, honestly. Um, hmm... Yeah, unsure, unsure. Okay. Okay. Let's go. Ah, yes, of course. Face ships. I hate face ships. With a burning passion, I hate face ships. <laughs> okay. Eliminate all those fighters real quick. Hello, Mr. Colossus. You look like you want to die. <laughs> See ya. Wouldn't want to be ya. Same goes for you, sir. Cheeky vent, cheeky vent. Cheeky vent. Oh, they caught us. They caught us. Maybe I'm being too cheeky here. Maybe I'm being too cheeky. I'm sorry, but Subzo commented that I'm a cautious fight player. Oh, wow. Subzo commented that I'm a cautious player, and now I get all nervous. 
now I get all <laughs> now I'm like I, I gotta prove I gotta prove that I'm capable uh but of course I I actually ended up messing up here didn't I yeah I did that's fine that's fine He's trying. He's trying to get on my backside. He's trying to get on my backside. It's not gonna work. Come on, finish him off. Finish him off. There we go, finally. Right, let's give some orders here. Just, I just realized I'd, I've forgotten to give orders. Get off the defense. Full assault. Go. Sorry, I tunnel vision on piloting again. Uh, I know that that's something I've got to work on. I tunnel vision on piloting a little bit too much at the moment. Gonna... Make an attempt to get out of here. If I can. Make an attempt to get out of here if I can. Shouldn't be too much of a problem. Shouldn't be too much of a problem. <laughs> oh, nervous now, aren't you? Nervous now. Come on. I'm playing. Stop running. <laughs> Fine. Fine. Okay, so we I mean we we made mistakes there. We I I made so I say I say we, no, I made mistakes there. I made big mistakes there. But we we were fine. We were fine. We'll pursue. Second in command. Um oh the Mysia took some hits too. Oh no, just some CR, not some hits. Okay. Fine. Uh we'll send in that lot. Uh, wow, Colossus still gets away, huh? All right, fine. Uh, nothing to recover. Nothing to recover. Like I said, guys, I'm working really hard to become a better pilot, but it's going to take time. Um, I hope you guys can see the journey that I'm on and, and appreciate like how far I've come um, from being an armchair admiral to actually piloting my ships and learning how to make smart decisions. Um, I'm gonna. I need to try and remember to like still give orders to my fleet and stuff while I'm while I'm piloting. Um, but I, I'm trying. I'm trying. And I think you guys can see that. I think you guys can see that. But that's a solid two hundred twenty thousand credit bounty in the bag that we do love indeed. I, I'm just gonna. I'm gonna fly around these systems real quick, guys, just because I really want to find a gate up here. It would be really really nice to find a gate up here. Um. Just so that if we get... Oh, that's rough. Uh, I was trying to... I pressed S to go slow and it just didn't go slow. Um. Oh, there's a... A nebula thingy here. Mining station, though. Mining station? What? Immediately upon breaching the sturdy hangar bays, your salvage crew runs into problems. Functioning auto turrets, entire bulkheads rigged to collapse, airlocks repurposed as traps and old corpses in the hallways. Fighting through the defenses, your crews finally report a heavily secured room containing valuable technology and a rather concerning issue. The entire station is rigged to explode should the room be breached. Your explosive squad is not sure if they can properly defuse it. You could recover the autonomous mantle bore or just blow the control room to bits, destroying the tech in the process. 
While it is believed there are no functional control override units remaining in the sector, the bore itself is capable of independent, if sometimes unpredictable, operation. Automatic mode failsaves preclude its use on habitable worlds. Uh, I don't quite understand, but... Take it. Your crew quickly breaches the secure room, takes your autonomous mantle board. Nothing happens. You realize you've been holding your breath and start exhaling slowly. The crew reports mission complete as the transport leaves the shuttle bay. Nice. Uh, soil nanites. Increases farming production by two units? Damn. Okay. Okay. Charge cycler mod spec fits weapon systems with small auxiliary generators, increasing the rate at which expanded charges are regenerated by 10%. Oh, that's kind of huge, actually. That's kind of huge, huge. We'll go ahead and take everything. And we'll go ahead and take everything again. Nice. ECCM uh, package, I definitely want to learn. I 100% want to learn that. That's huge. That's huge. Damn. What a nice find. What an, I wonder if there's more. I wonder if there's more. Nothing pops up on sensors. We just gotta we gotta be kind of slow moving our way around here, because obviously we don't want to get into that into this I don't know what it's called. Bravitic discharge. Doesn't look like there's anything else in system. Nothing coming up. We'll get real close real quick. No, nothing. Okay, fine. Let's get out of here. Still, that mining station was a huge find. Yeah, autonomous. What, what is this autonomous bore? What? <laughs> what is this autonomous bore? Um, mining requires not a gas giant, not habitable. Increases transplutonic ore, organics, and ore production by three units. What? What? <laughs> oh wow, that's so. That's insane. That's insane. Did we just hit like the absolute jackpot? I feel like we just hit the absolute jackpot. I feel like we just hit a massive jackpot there. Uh, no gate in this system. No gate in this system. That's that's got to be what? 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 Wild. Wow. There's scavengers here. There's no gate here. There's an arid world called Nav, and there's fleets around. Is this an independent station? It looks like it is an... Oh, wait, a mining station and an orbital habitat? Wait, your salvage crews find an old automated repair facility. It appears to be in passable shape. The assembly is missing a nano forge to produce more specialized parts. Oh, okay. Fine. Contech first generation ships package. Nice. Fullerene spoil! Yes! I love the fullerene spool. Wait. Synchrotron core? Fuel production output by three units? My goodness. We are... Heavy armor mod spec. There it is. We are... We are... We are lucking out. Expanded deck crew. Nice. This is wild. This is wild. Oh. <laughs> we, we, I think we're getting incredibly lucky right now. And then a uh, auto habitat. Attempt to tap the tanks. Oh, a fuel tank. Sure. Sure, 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 sure. <laughs> I mean, we might as well hit this. 
Might as well, right? This is insane. There's something there's something on the south side of the star here as well. Supply cash. Oh, this system has it all. This system has it all. Tarsus Freighter, I'm not interested in whatsoever. No sir, Bob. No sir, Bob. There's just debris fields everywhere. There's just debris fields everywhere. Plentiful Volatiles location. Nice. There is literally just debris fields everywhere. There's an orbital. There's an orbital. Orbit what is going on? Lieutenant Casey Phobos has joined our fleet. What is actually going on, though? Imperial ships blueprint package? Volturnian lobsters? I <laughs> Minus supply cash? What is this system? What what is this system? The system is insane. The system is legit insane. It's everywhere. It's just It's just everywhere. Let's um let's perform a survey on the arid world here. Abundant organic, sparse ore, moderate rare ore, adequate farmland, extensive ruins, class five arid. Huh. Huh. Um we could slot in a VPC, sure. Slot in uh domestic goods. Sure. I shouldn't have done that actually. That was that was not the right decision to make. Imperial weapons blueprint package. Imperial common blueprint package. Oh my goodness. Oh my giddy aunt. Oh my giddy aunt. <laughs> oh my giddy aunt. Okay. Let's um Oh, wait, we got... <laughs> Let, let's, let's, let's just get home. Let's, let's get home. This is, this is insanity. Um, we have just hit the absolute, complete and total jackpot. Uh, the... <laughs> I wonder if there's a gate up here. Uh, do I want to risk it? Yeah, let's risk it. Let's go. Let's go check for a gate over there. I'll see you there. Uh, nope. No gate here. No gate here. There's got to be a gate somewhere around up here, right? In the Kamen system, maybe? Which is very dangerous for me to go and visit right now. Especially with how much, like, juice I have on me in terms of fleet. But I just want to see. I just want to see. Uh, no gate. Right, okay. Oh, so what was that? Lunar Moon is being invaded by the Imperium. Oh. Uh, yeah, no gate here. No gate here. No gate here. Let's see. Carry. Let's try it. One last. One last system. If there's no gate here, then we'll just head down to Fuel. Th to, to Thule. Well, I was traveling down to Thule. And uh, on my way down, I came across some pirate raiders and they were trying to run away from me and I was having none of that. I wanted some more blood. And so down go the raiders. Everything in. <laughs> because because why not? Tiger Lily, grab Alpha. Mishanjo, grab Gamma. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to not do the defense point this time. And I just want to see the differences between the, the fights we had earlier 
and and this one like to see um you know whether 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 like not not doing the defense point was smart or not or like doing the defense point like how 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 it impacts the fleet uh yeah <laughs> let's see mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They're coming in pretty heavy head first. They're coming in pretty heavy head first. Ooh, almost impacted that. Shields up. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Bye. See ya, Leia. See ya, Leia. I do love getting up in people's faces with this ship. I do love getting up in people's faces. For sure. That is... That is one hell of a, like, escape drive. That is one hell of an escape drive. There he goes again. How am I supposed to track this? How am I supposed to, like... <laughs> this guy just has, like, this crazy retreat drive. Do I have to just try and overcharge him before he goes? Oh, look, there he goes again. <laughs> Come here, damn it. What is this? <laughs> what is this? Come here. Come here. How You guys are doing fine, aren't you? Yeah, let's go ahead and get rid of all these. Um, And that. The, uh, the brawler. The, yeah, just like... Uh, all of you guys on this. All of you guys on this. Have fun. And we will chase down our uh, retro drive buddy here who's just being a pain in the ass. <laughs> what are you are you going for the are you going for the nav boy? Are you literally going for the control point? You cheeky little sod. <laughs> you cheeky little sod. No! Damn it, come here! <laughs> it's so annoying! Oh, he's getting sandwiched! <laughs> oh, what are you gonna do now, buddy? <laughs> yeah, you can't run away from that, can you? <laughs> that retro drive is not fun to fight against at all. But uh, nice, we 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 did it. We did it. We did it beautifully. We did it beautifully. Uh, we'll go ahead, pick through the wreckage, and uh, we'll say goodbye to the pirates who uh, just happened to get in our way. Just happened to get in our way. Uh, so we're gonna fly back now. I'm gonna get us back home, and once we are home, this is. I I tell you what, I, I'm just getting into the habit of recording long episodes at the moment, apparently. Uh, once we are back home, we are gonna... I should probably leave this for next episode, but also, like... I don't know. We're gonna we're gonna go ahead and build in some whole mods. We're gonna go ahead and build in some whole mods. Um, because we surely we've got enough XP on our ships now to build in some whole mods. I really think that we do. So we're gonna try that. We're gonna try that. But here we are in the fuel system. I'll see you back at home. Okay, we are at Favonius. Um, just because I wanted to pick up some more supplies real quick. In fact, I'll just grab them all. Uh, oh, no, our inventory's full. <laughs> um, we are uh, 2.4 million credits, by the way. By Favonius. 
<laughs> oh dear. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and get ourselves over to the Shana system. Uh, and get some, get some work done. We got shy of a half a million credits again. Um, I really, you know, if I actually just stopped spending the money and just, like, um, went and did a bunch of bounties, we'd, we'd stack up some cash very quickly. Very quickly. Ah, that's fine. Here we go. There's Himmel. There's Hemfire. And we are home. We're gonna go ahead and sell these Volturnian lobsters. These, that, that. All of these. Um, the drive bubble spike will sell. The tech locators will keep. The emergency fuel scoop will keep. The degraded four tennis plates will sell. We'll keep that. Keep that. Keep that, of course. Keep that, of course. Um, the synchrotron core. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely keeping that. The domestic goods will sell. The VPC heavy machinery we will sell. Uh, Transplanted core will sell. Luxury goods will sell. Drugs will sell. Uh, harvested organs we can't sell. Uh, Transplasonics will sell. Class 5 survey data. The VPC supplies will keep. Um, the nanite repair module we will keep. The weapons we will sell. Lovely. 237,800 credits. And all of this colony goodness. Fullerene spool, biofactory embryo, soil nanites, autom autonomous mantle ball, and synchrotron core. We are in such a good position for when we start colonizing. We are in such a good position. I'm going to go ahead and store these things so I don't lose them on accident. Um, uh, I'm going to go ahead and just sell the harvested organs to the black market. Uh, like so. And we have got, got to level up. We have got to level up. And... Uh, I need to get one more lower tier skill in leadership in order to increase the maximum amount of officers that I'm able to command. Uh, and so, we're going to go with crew training there. Crew training is going to be the thing. We're going to repair our ships. Also, we are going to go to our officers here. We're going to grab the Rose Knight and we're going to slap Casey Phobos uh, into it like so. We also have some level ups here. Summer Campbell is going to go ahead and take... Uh, I'm going to go with Helmsmanship. Nolan Black is going to go ahead and take... Uh, hmm. I think Field Modulation. Oh, and wait, we have one more. We have one more. Lapis Elysium is going to go ahead and take... I want to say Ballistic Mastery. Yeah. We go Ballistic Mastery. Beautiful. B-E-A. Beautiful. Okay. Let's see if we can build in some whole mods. Let's see if we can build in some whole mods. Let's start with the... Uh, let's start with... Let's start with Uwu 6. Let's start with Uwu 6. Uwu 6 has 5,572 XP. Um, we're going to go ahead and build the dedicated targeting core into Uwu 6. Now they have 1,139. Beautiful. E-E-A. Beautiful. Uh, we're going to try again with, let's see, maybe the Eternal Winter. That's 5,700. Nice. Dedicated targeting core built in. Boom. 2,700. Little bit off of getting Unstable Injector built in as well. Um, let's try with, I mean, we can try with the Zathku. Zathku's got 5,000. Oh, okay. I didn't expect the Zathku to be up that far. Dedicated targeting core it is. Boom. Uh, uh so we're going to be able to refit, well, not refit, but like improve the fits on a lot of our ships soon. Uh, so we are going to go ahead and build in on the, the Miser's probably not there yet. The Miser's almost definitely not there yet. Neither is the Rose Knight. The Starry Knight has probably got XP. Yeah. The Starry Knight can go ahead and take dedicated targeting core built in. Boom. Uh, the Insurrection has 4,000 dedicated targeting core. Boom. The uh, Astari has 2,700. We'll save up for dedicated there. Um, the uh, Mishandra has 3,800. 
uh, we will definitely go ahead and build in the hardened subsystems. Uh, and that'll be that. Uh, then for the Sparrowhawk, 1,600. Uh, yeah, nothing yet. Then for the Northern Light, 2,700. Uh, we will go ahead and build in the integrated targeting unit. And the integrated point defense AI. Boom. And then on the Southern Bell, probably not a huge amount. Oh, no, Southern Bell's got a decent amount. Okay. Uh, we'll go ahead and do both of those. Sure. Uh, and then last but not least, the Tiger Lily, 1600. We will go ahead and do hardened subsystems built in. Wonderful. Okay, so now if we go to refit, we have a lot of ordnance points to spend. I'll go ahead and do that and bring you guys back. Okay, so for the Zathku, we went ahead and uh, switched out the uh, unstable injector for um plus the additional like you had additional removed the capacitors and additional op uh and removed a couple of the small hybrids here to give it safety overrides instead with the flux distributor which now allows it to run all of its weapons <laughs> perfectly uh for the eternal winter we went ahead and gave it some heavy armor and also improved its flux dissipation for Uwu 6, we went ahead and gave it reinforced bulkheads. Uh, uh, sim just simply gave it reinforced bulkheads. For the Starry Knight, we went ahead and gave it an unstable injector. Uh, for the Insurrection, we went ahead and gave it a flux distributor and gave it a few more points in vents, uh, admit making its flux dissipation much, much better, if still not great. Um, for the Mishandra, we went ahead and put Expanded Deck Crew on. Makes sense, right? Minoria. Sorted. For the Northern Light, we went ahead and put Hardened Subsystems in, uh, which was perfect. And then also some points in Capacitors. And for the Southern Bell, we went ahead and gave her Heavy Armor and some points in Capacitors. Also, for the Tiger Lily, we went ahead and added Blast Doors to further improve that whole durability. And that is the refits right there. So it's good. It's good to get some built-in mods eventually. Um, it takes a little longer using the, the the progressive S mod system, but I actually really like the mod. I think it it, you, it really makes you like earn and like deserve the the built-in mods um, after all this time. And so I'm actually really really enjoying that, um, which is really cool. But otherwise, guys, that is going to be the end of this episode. I've been recording for an hour and forty minutes for this one. That's crazy. I have no idea how long it's going to be in editing, but uh, you guys will know because you're there. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, for now guys if you have liked the video please hit that like button consider subscribing and don't forget to check out my twitch links in the description below so check out that membership button um if you want to support the channel financially but otherwise guys till next time stay safe in the stars farewell <laughs>